welcome. It is my pleasure to welcome uh, distinguished guests, Mr. Curry, Superintendent of Schools, Greenberg County Board of Education members, families, and friends of graduates. And also, I cannot forget Ms. Carolyn O'Neill, former assistant principal, who began with this group way back many years ago. Welcome to all. Uh, hopefully people have complied with the request that these seats in this area were for uh, family members. Uh, please turn off all cell phones and please, uh, this is a hard request, please avoid uh, single congratulatory responses uh, and wait for the group response. But uh, welcome everyone. high school. It's been a long journey, and no one's done it alone. We pray that you bestow your warmest blessing on each person who is receiving a degree here today. And we remember with gratitude each parent, grandparent, spouse, child, and friend who supported a student on this journey. We remember with gratitude each faculty, staff, and administration member who opened the minds and warmed the hearts of students on this journey. As we name and remember fr family, friends, and teachers who walk with us on this journey, oh God, we remember you with profound gratitude that you did not abandon us. Indeed, you walked beside us, supporting, nurturing, challenging, empowering, even when, you, even when we did not ask. Although this is Crowder's Day and hundreds are receiving academic diplomas, let us not forget that only a tiny fraction of the inhabitants of the crowded global community of ours <coughs> hold such diplomas. Therefore, we pray that we, we will use these diplomas, the doors they open, and the knowledge that they represent. Not to be selfish in hoarding goods and possessions, but to be generous in sharing ideas and services. Not to be dominating our devices because of our standing, but to be inclusive and cooperative, creating communities of peace. Not to be thoughtless in depleting the resources of your good creation, but to be thoughtful in renewing resources and restoring your creation. Hear our prayer, O God, and continue to walk with each and every one. Amen. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this year's commencement ceremony. The theme of my speech is supposed to be scholarship, but as I sat down to write this speech, I asked myself, really, what is scholarship? I searched through several definitions, meaning mostly the same thing. Then I found one that was similar but varied slightly. It stated, scholarship is knowledge resulting from study and research in a particular field. I then realized after reading this, that scholarship is not only being intelligent or being a well-rounded student, but in fact, it does not even have to relate to school. In our senior class, there are many different types of people. Artists, intellectuals, athletes, actors, musicians, farmers, and leaders. All of which have become scholars of some sort of craft. Whatever they have become has taken a lot of work. They have acquired skills that will help them throughout life, and in my opinion, that is true scholarship. Fortunately, I have been blessed that my scholarship is academics. It hasn't been easy, but I've had a great family to help me through it. Ever since I was little, my parents have only taught me right from wrong, but also to apply myself fully to get the outcome I want. They have been disciplining, caring, and most of all, loving. My parents have always given me the support I've needed, and they are the best things in my life, and always will be. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Next to my family would definitely be my friends. I've been very lucky to have the friends I do, and you all know who you are. Heather has always been there since elementary school, and my boyfriend Caleb has been a major part of my life for the past year or so. These two meet the definition of best friends like no other could, and I dearly love you both. 
Finally, my academics would be nothing without the teachers, faculty, and staff I've been influenced by over the years. From the beginning, they have taught me so many things. Sometimes it seemed that they expected too much out of me, but really they were just showing me what I could accomplish. Some of the many memories that lie within the walls of this school belong to this class. We've had a great time here. From the pep rallies to prom, everything has been taken in and will be remembered. I have a feeling that many great things will come out of this class and that this is not the last time you will hear about us. Good luck to the class of 2007 and all the classes to come. I'm certain you will succeed. Thank you. We all look the same. We all have our gowns, our hats, and our tassels. But even though we may look the same now, it is our differences that make us who we are. I believe that each one of us is valuable and has something worthwhile to contribute to society. When I first wrote this speech, I wasn't certain what I should say or how I should say it, but I found this quote that I feel sums up my thoughts nicely. Dream what you want to dream, go where you want to go. Be what you want to be because you only have one life and one chance to do all the things you want to do. To me, the end of high school is just the beginning of the next step. Today is just the first of many great accomplishments I hope to achieve in my life. Our graduation is our coming of age, our rite of passage. As we walk across the stage, we are writing the closing pages to our chapter one and heading into the great unknown. It's kind of scary, but even though high school is over, the times we've had here will be cherished forever and never be lost. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank some people. I wish to extend my gratitude and gratefulness to all of you who are present today. The people who care have made a difference and who made a difference are right here, right now. The greatest gift any of us could have received is having the people who influenced all of our lives here to witness this milestone. The two people that have made everything possible are, of course, my mom and dad. They've been there for me since day one and always will be no matter what. Even though I'll be off at college soon and won't be seeing them every day, I know that I can always come home to a supportive and loving family that I've always had. Throughout these past years in high school, I've met some of the greatest people that I feel I'll ever meet in my life. I've made friends with a lot of new people this year, and the, friendship we've, the friendships we've made have turned out to be rewarding. But there are three people that mean so much to me. They've always been there for me whenever I needed them, and I know they will, always will. I don't think I could even be close to where I am now if it wasn't for them. Heather and Brittany, I can honestly say, you are the greatest best friends anyone could ever have. All the inside jokes, good times, and laughs we've had together will always be in my heart. And to James, I've become so close to you and I only hope to grow closer. I've learned so many things from you, and not only have you taught, have you helped me understand love and life, but you've taught me so much about myself. I love you all. Whether you're parents, teachers, family members, or friends, you have all contributed for us to reach this goal of requiring our diplomas. All that any of us have accomplished can be credited to you and your undying support. Each and every one of you seated before me today deserves the greatest of congratulations. You have paid the price to be here, put tears, sweat, frustration, anger, effort, and now trying into your three years of Greenbrier West. You should all be incredibly proud of yourselves. No matter what happens to you in five or ten years from now, no matter what changes you experience throughout your life, you will always be a part of this class. Nothing can ever change that. There will never again be a class like this one. So faculty, staff, family, and friends, Take one last good look at this amazing group of people before we head off on our separate ways. And graduates, feel as blessed as I do to have been able to be part of something this great. I know that none of you will need luck for the future, that your ambition and drive and your inspiring pers personalities will get you farther than my best wishes. Thank you. Leadership is a challenge to be something more than average, Jim Ryan. Leadership is the ability of an individual to set an example for others and lead from the front. True leadership is taking people to a place they would not go by themselves. Leaders lead people with a purpose and direction. Some people are born leaders. These people have a natural ability to lead. They have a passion and an immense desire to do something different. We as high school students deal with positions of leadership every day. Student leaders are those who are resourceful, good problem solvers, 
promoters of school activities, idea contributors, dependable, and persons who demonstrate positive attitudes about life. They understand that leadership is a part of learning. As President John F. Kennedy once said, leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. In addition, effective student leaders are models of ethical and moral leadership. They project integrity by promoting and supporting an environment where student and school staff are always trying to do what is right. They demonstrate courage in difficult situations and provide a model of moral leadership for others to follow. They seek to make a difference in the lives of other students and faculty, and most importantly, to make a difference in the school itself. Leaders with honesty are focused and determined and are always attentive to be con being consistent with what they say and what they do. Leadership is applicable to all facets of life, an ability that you can learn to expand your horizons, set the context of a goal, and take the initiative to get to where you want to be. I know that without leadership of any kind in my life, I definitely would not be here today. I would like to take a moment to thank a few people who have helped me become what I am today. To God, I know that my life would be nothing without him in it and that I hope I am living my life the way he has intended. To my teachers, past and present, I do not think that without you, I'd be standing here today. To my family, for pushing me to the limit and making me a better person because of it. And lastly, to my friends, who I spent years goofing off with and making some of the best memories with. To the graduates of 2007, I would like to leave you with some words of wisdom. Wisdom. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Congratulations, class of 2007. interesting speech about service. Well, I thought about it and I realized that this word service is a common word that we've all heard throughout our lives. Not only have we heard this word service, but we've benefited from many different services. These include policemen and firefighters working to keep us safe, the medical professionals keeping us healthy, the postal service delivering those anxiously awaited college acceptance letters and letters from family and friends. And especially through our 13 years of school, we've experienced the services and efforts of our caring teachers and staff who've worked so hard to really open up our minds and make us think, even at times when we didn't want to. Now as graduates of the class of 2007, we're starting a new big chapter in our lives, and service should definitely be a part of it as we choose our careers and follow through with them. There is a wise saying, there is more happiness in giving than in receiving. I feel this statement is just as important now as it was when it was written down. Yes, we all do need money to survive and live comfortably, but instead of us just aiming to have power and money, we should all realize that helping others physically and spiritually is what truly makes us a successful person. I really have enjoyed my years here at West. I know we all have so many sweet memories and good times that we'll never be able to forget. I want to thank all the staff and teachers, especially the business department, who've helped teach me so much more than I could ever just learn in textbooks. I also want to thank my family and friends who helped, get this, helped me get this far and become the person that I am. They've helped me through so much. they put up with all my silly and crazy ways, and I love you all so much. I really do feel that our senior class is awesome, and I have no doubt that we're all going to do well in life. I wish all of you, my fellow graduates, the best. I'd like to begin my speech by congratulating the class of 2007. I know that everyone has worked hard and look forward to this day for a very long time. Now that we are finally here, it's time to look toward the future, our hopes, 
dreams, goals, and plans for the years to come. The past 13 years, our parents, teachers, family, and friends have all contributed in molding us into what we are today. I ask that you take time today to look at yourself. What you are today represents your character. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and our success achieved. Today, we, the class of 2007, will receive our diplomas and graduate together as one. This great accomplishment in our lives has shown that we have already begun to develop many positive aspects of our character. As Ms. Keller said, character cannot do, be developed in ease and quiet, and in no way has the last 13 years been without its ups and downs, struggles and disappointments, but through all that we share many great memories, laughs, and fun times. We are here today because we have vision and ambition and have achieved success. Beginning tomorrow, we each go our separate ways. We each need to have new goals and new ambitions for our future plans. The building of character does not stop here. It is only the beginning. I would like to take a few moments to thank the people in my life who have helped me over the past years to achieve all of my goals. The first and most important thanks will have to be to God. He has blessed me in so many different ways, and I have no idea what I would do without him. My next thank you will go to my family and friends who have supported me throughout the years. The past few weeks have been the best of my life. I spent most of my time with my closest friends, and we've been making memories. I know one thing is for sure, I have the best friends anyone could ask for. Chad, Heather, Brittany, and Erica, I love all you guys more than anything in the world. Next year is going to be really hard for me because I'm going to a college that none of my friends are going to. I'm only going to be 40 minutes away from WVU, which is where my closest friends are going, but it's still going to be hard for me not getting to see them every day like I have the past six years. I just want you all to know how much I miss you and how much I've appreciated your love and support. Last but not least, I would like to thank my mom and dad for everything they've done for me. They've always been right by my side in everything I've done. My dad is such an amazing man. He wakes up at 4 in the morning during the week and goes to work and doesn't get home till 5 or 6 in the evening and still managed to get to 97% of my games in the past six years. Sometimes we don't even get home from ball games till 11 or 12. He still goes to bed and wakes up at 4 in the morning and does the same thing. He amazes me. I just want to thank him for everything over the past years. All the yelling and screaming, love and support has made me who I am today. I've looked up to my mom all of my life. She works a job, cleans the house, does the laundry, cleans the dishes, and cooks almost every day. She tore her Achilles tendon not too long ago, and she still managed to wobble up the hill to my softball games. She also sets in the bleachers for my National Honor Society, scholarship awards, and now my graduation. She still works a job, cleans the house, does the laundry, cleans the dishes, and cooks dinner, even though she's a little slower getting up and down the steps now. She's super mom. I hope that when I have kids, I can be half the mom she was and still is to me. I want both of you to know how much I love you and how much I'll miss you next year. In closing, I would like again to again congratulate the class of 2007 for all your accomplishments throughout the years. We all have many things to be proud of. I would like to challenge the class of 2007 to continue to build your character through respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Always remember to set your goals high, dream big, and know that you can accomplish anything if you set your mind to it. In the words of Ed Scott, Koch, former New York City mayor, the fireworks begin today. Each diploma is a lighted match. Each one of you is a fuse. Thank you, and God bless you. to get to where we are now. Unfortunately, there is a very special person who cannot be with us today. And his name is Ron Niverlatterman. He would have loved to have been here. I would like to take a few moments to acknowledge Denver for the poem that I personally wrote for him. As I look back and can remember your smiling face, and all those precious memories of you will just never erase. It seems like just yesterday when we were sharing laughter and smiles, and now that I look back, it's been quite a while. As we are young, we all think we are invincible and never going to die. 
But the truth is, we are really running out of time. I remember that day when I heard the terrible news, and now I wish we could just have one more day to express our love for you. It's too late now, you're already gone, but we want you to know your memory will always linger on. This day would have been your day to shine and be proud, and when they called your name, everyone would applaud aloud. Today is the day that for the first and last time, our class will become one, before we go our separate ways and all move on. So now as our class of 2007 goes our different ways, we will keep you in our hearts forever and always. Here's to you, Denver. And I would also like to present a thing of roses that I bought to, um, in honor of Denver, and I'm going to present them to his brother, Thurman Lattimilk, if he can make his way to the stage.
Christopher T. Lozier.
Brittany Marie Allen. Heather Gail Easton. Bennett Nicole Phillips. Mary Ellie Chamber.
three of y'all done, so hundred dollars. <laughs>
Come 